Welcome. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to determine the amplitude and the period of a function. So the trigonometric function that we're going to use to find the amplitude and period here is y equals negative 3 halves times cosine of pi x divided by 2. So what I did is I kind of already wrote some previous information from another video. And what we had was the standard form of our function is y equals a times cosine of b of x minus c plus d. And remember, each one of those values had affected our graph in different ways. And remember, our a, when we took the absolute value of a, that gave us our amplitude. And remember, the amplitude is going to be your distance from your maximum point and your minimum point of your graph. So when we look at this, we look at what is the, abs what is the number that's being multiplied by my function. So we're looking at we have negative 3 halves cosine. So to take the absolute value of negative 3 halves, we end up getting 3 halves. Therefore, my amplitude um, has a, half, has a uh, distance of 3 pi over 2, or half distance of 3 pi over 2 from uh, the center to its uh, maximum or minimum. Then we go ahead and take a look at the period. Now, the period for this problem is going to be a little bit more difficult because the most common thing is when we're looking at taking 2 pi, which was our standard period, and remember the period is going to affect how, much, how, how long it takes for your graph to complete one cycle. And we always looked at b, which was our coefficient of x. Now, it gets a lot of students when they look at this and they say, oh, well, the coefficient of this x is pi. But you've got to remember, that is not pi. That's actually pi being divided by 2. So we have to make sure we include that division of 2 into our problem. So really what we have, our b is actually going to be 2 pi divided by pi divided by 2. So now remember, to simplify this, we can multiply by our reciprocal which is 2 over pi on the top and the bottom. Well, any number multiplied by its reciprocal, we know multiplies into 1. And then 2 pi times 2 over pi, our pi's are going to divide out into 1. And therefore, we're left with 2 times 2, which is 4 over 1, which equals 4. So therefore, the period for this function is going to be 4, and the amplitude is going to be a positive 3 halves. There you go. Hope you enjoyed.